the greatest the greatest favor you can do yourself in the world is for yourself to vanish the self that is the self that is in time in process in in who is who is a, even the devotee has to vanish into that which it's devoted to <clears throat> because when when really the disciple meets really meets the guru in that moment both of them will disappear so much i've been wasting 10 years of my life yeah. in this moment in this moment from where i'm speaking it is meaningless what you say because all that i know all i all i know is that there is only the perfection and you are that that's all i know yeah but i should also know it should be known here actually you <laughs> you know it in do. two ways you know it in two ways you know it without knowledge as direct experience and you know it with knowledge which is not direct experience and sometimes you're trusting too much the attention on the on the knowing it with knowledge which is not direct experience whereas your direct experience that's what i was explaining in satsang this day that if anybody get it sometimes some quintessential truths come out that are worth 100 pints if you get them and the rest i speak are worth 1 pint per pint and some things are worth 100 pints and one of them is this that mm, What is happening to every day, all the day? Wherever I go, people get stuck. <laughs> Does that count? No, anything. Else. In my life, in my life, so to speak, over the years, all hundreds, thousands of people speaking, and every one of them speak. I sit there and I listen, and I speak and see everything. Almost ninety-nine point nine percent of what I hear is untrue. It's believed. It's got passion. It's got effect. It's got pain. It's got joy, but it's untrue. It's untrue. Do I get bored? Not really. I don't get bored or whatever. I don't know what it is because something my, because my existence in this form is legitimate. I can't run away from it. I I I know what you say is true, mm. but is it what is expressed here? I see what, what is, is ex- expressed there. Is, is what is ex- expression is expression of that freedom. <laughs> in every aspect of your this expression of freedom this expression of freedom is not limited to this no it's only this <coughs> the dispelling of illusion it's only the dispelling of illusion is important and then this the sense of you and me and this and that and here there they will become immediately insignificant um This point is this: that you exist before remembering and forgetting of yourself. That was the point, quintessential point. <laughs> okay, but the remembering and forgetting are concept we believe in, and once we believe in this concept, you have to function within the rules of this concept. So. We believe that we must remember the self in order to be the self, but the self is there before remembering and forgetting because it watches remembering and forgetting as a movement inside its expression called consciousness. So, for a while, because the beings believe in their reality as identities, they must function under the principle of remembering and forgetting, and that is called spirituality. You must remember, I am not these things. I am not these things. I am the self. That's called remembering the self. When they remember the self, they are set free from the binding illusion that they are entities receiving and giving sensations, thoughts, ideas, objects. <clears throat> That's called remembering. 
And forgetting is when they start to believe that I'm just this body and mind, and that's forgetting, and that leads to alienation, fragmentation of attention, the sense of uh, plunge you into that space of uh, Rajaguna, Tamaguna. But now I say, Rajaguna, Tamaguna, Sattvaguna are unrealities. That you are the Self before remembering and forgetting. If this is grass, because when it is spoken into the human world, tremendous laziness, inertia, resistance manifest. And the beings, uh, like that's, yeah, we understand intellectually, we understand intellectually. And I said, but your very understanding intellectually is, illu is an illusion. You are. The very basic, simple intuition, I am, is already indicative and pointing to that absolute, which is beyond remembering and forgetting. But somehow, through the intellect, psychological intellect, projects that this, that is, is something attainable. And because of that, belief in that concept, that's believed into existence, and it becomes an actual experience that one must practice. And in different religions, different uh, portrayal of the Self, it's, it, it can be, yes, you'll get there in many lifetimes, you'll get there in many you know, seasons, you'll get there after really being really serious and devoted and really vigilant and all of this. But all of them, for me, I'm telling you, and this is your blessedness, that this comes in this voice to tell you in your presence that all of that belongs to the illusory realm. All the practices, all the elevation, all the Buddhas, all the, the Jivas and the Shivas and, and all of these things and the play of existence and the evolution of mankind, it's all illusory. All the different layers of heavens and hells and the demons and all of this and time immemorial and going back to, to all of these things that they exist only in the realm of the mind. Of what value is this? I don't know. Well, there's something mm. that needs to know this. Exactly as with the same community you are saying, as yes. we said also here. Because and this is the paradox. The this is the, the paradox, and, and this is what I would. So ultimately, I will tell you what there. the I will tell you what the difficulty is. It's not a difficulty. It's not a difficulty. It is an impossibility, and I tell you why. Because it's not just through uh, any other reason than all the beings are under a spell. That's what it is. It's just a spell. That's why it's called Maya. It's a sort of spell. Meaning that, because it is so actually simple and obvious. It's like, it's, it is a bit like somehow. Sometimes I'm looking for Hari Dharma. Has anybody seen Hari? And, and she's right here. The number of you have witnessed that. And Ari, Ari, oh, sorry, right here. <laughs> sometimes it is like this: something causes you not to see. I have to say, something causes you not to see. I watch it all the time. Like sometimes you're going on the road and you're not meant to see this person, and you walk, you're trying to look at them, and, and other things come in between, and you will not see them, or something. This might be consciously or unconsciously. It will yeah. happen. There are many things, not because they appear to be obvious, you will not see them. There are many things that you will just not see. Okay, I'm not going to apportion this thing about a spell at the moment. The spell is something more to do with the fact that all the beings are asleep to the obvious of what they are. Yesterday you said something that for me was uh, very uh, new. I know it's not the first time I heard, but yesterday you were talking and you said, uh, I feel like you're stuck in a mud and I pull you out, you know, and then... You, you you know save a ground. Uh, no, but what you I said. Still, you still what I said to you is mud. I call you, come out. Yes. Come because out. you're in this kind of like uh, you're in this kind of like a well. Quicksand. And it's quicksand. All of it is quicksand. And I say, come, come, come. And he said, how can I come? I says, my words are a ladder. Climb on the ladder of my words and come. I said, come, come, come out. And then you says, okay, fine. You go to a safe a, a place where the quicksand is not sinking yet. And you say, good, good. Could you tell me again what I must do? And I says, come completely out. He said, no, no, I'm safe here. 
I'm safe here. Just tell me now because now I can concentrate. Because over there I was really sinking. I said, the whole place is sinking. Use my words and climb out. And he said, wow, wow, Muji, that's so beautiful. Wow, I just like to just turn that into my meditation and stuff like that. He says, no, come out of it, isn't it? That no place there is safe for you. And uh, As I saw very clear, the mind has always the last word. Always, almost. Mm. But yesterday when you say, come out, it's still the mind, come out, it's still the mind, come out. And then suddenly there was this very silent place, mm. which actually it's me, you know, like it's mm. it always been. And this me was never in. Yes. Neither in nor out. But that's why I say like a veil. And you're in the dream of, I'm in sinking, let me come out, and, I'm gonna come out. And so, so the truth appears and speaks to itself, who is on the delusion that it is actually in this place. Come out, come out. And this place, this play, though it is illusory, still is experiential. You actually experience suffering and throw, come, 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 take my hand, take my hand. And then, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm out. But then at a certain point, you're going to wake up. It's, it's a dream. And in, in this dream, I can't force this dream on you. I can't put the dream in your head. Sometimes I do this, and for a moment, then the illusion breaks. Mm -hmm. And in the space of the break of that uh, illusion, somehow there's a self-recognition. But then there's a sort of faithfulness, a reflex, a habit in the mind to go back again. And that's what this, this pull that feels like that the illusion is in your veins, actually. And it's, it's pulling. And slowly we are becoming drunk again. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like this. So I say like this. It's 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 kind of sp it's a kind of spell, seemingly. But that's not an excuse. <laughs> eh? It's a spell, but it's not an excuse. Don't say, oh yeah, well we all just spell what we can do. You know? <laughs>